How we going guys? Back with another video. We're at uh, Marion Park Golf Course. And we're going to play their back nine. As you can see, we're in a bit of trouble to start. Driver hit the bank, sloped right, went downhill, stuck behind a tree, and yeah. But that nine iron just got me under the green, so I do have a putt for a bogey, and I'll take a bogey. Start any day. Yeah, we're at Marion Park. I'm gonna play the back nine and just play stroke and see what we can get. I think the last time I played Marion, I think I shot six over. So the goal would be six over or less. About pin height here. Ooh, that's a hell of a slope. Oh, me four shot on the green here. And me nine iron from fairway. See if we can get that for a buggy. Oh, crazy double to start the first. I'll take a double with no warm up, no practice, just straight in the car park, straight on the course. Nice little Sunday here in Adelaide. So yeah, my golf hasn't been going too bad lately. Sitting around mid 80s most of the time. Haven't been out practicing much. So just here for fun. So the course is looking good. Greens are looking good. I think the last time I played here, all the greens were sanded. But now they're looking fresh. Radio, here we've got a hole number two. Three, oh, 300. Par three, 150 meters. Pins at the front, so I'm going to be more than happy to land this short and trickle up. So I think we're going to go just an easy six iron. That will change our mind. 140 downhill, so we're going to go seven. Actually, pins tuck. I don't know if you can see the bunker or not, but the pins tuck behind the bunker, so playing for the middle of the green. Just pulled him left, but I think it bounced towards the green. So not sure if the GoPro shows or not, but the hill slopes from here all the way down to the green. So if you hit it short, catch the hill, should run out, which is the game I usually play. So my seven iron, I am pin high to the left over there. So hopefully I can get up and down. I'll put you guys over near the pin and we'll see if we can run it up close. Nice up and down for par there. So now we've got a 389 par 4. So there's like a bit of a crest and then it drops off. So if I can get on top of that crest or down, it'll be right. Been um, hitting some hella slices with this lately. So just trying to square everything up. Get it straight. Maybe a bit of a fade. Chase it down there. Started it just on the left trees, faded in the middle. Should have a good second shot. Here we are, right in the fairway. So, 
didn't quite carry the down slope but the green is all the way down there if you guys can see because I can't so this is the part of the game I've been working on a lot like I've still got 180 meters left to the pin and if I try and whale at a wood or a hybrid I'll lose it and then have to scramble to go up and down so I'm just going to play my comfortable six iron it all slopes down so if I can get it straight get it to run down the hill I might have a pitch and a putt for a par I'm just going to play the comfortable shot so my comfortable shot is just my nice cruising six iron so I'm going to knock it up the middle and see how close we can get it Pulled it a smidge left, but trip it up. Okay, yeah, here we are. Not too far left from the pin, about 50 metres, so I'll try and just knock the 56 on the green or down there. The green, got a par putt. No, I don't think I've ever played that as a par and that is long. It's getting windy. Oh, I've just got this. Just got this to clean up for a bogey. Three over through three holes. I'll take that with no warm up. What was it? The first, the first hole. The, the hole really slopes from left to right, so. You need to hit it up on the left side and if you don't you come away off it so that's very avoidable <laughs> when you hit a fade well not avoidable so yeah double there part of the first and then bogey there and like i said like the first front nine um that holds a par five and on the back nine which i've never actually played because it's only nine whole course so you come over here for a quick nine and disappear um yeah, so I've never played that as a par 4 and that's a long par 4. So yeah, still got plenty of holes left. So the aim was about 6 over, 6 over or less. That's ideal. So yeah, at the moment I think I'm running mid, mid 80, um, 80s most rounds. Coming out once a week and on the weekend. So got a little 2.5 year old and a little girl on the way. So lately golf's been squeezed in. A lot of at home practicing in the net or chipping around the backyard or in the putting mat so still getting a feel for it so yeah still enjoying it so let's see how we go oh here we've got another par three about 120 meters wind in our back so i'm gonna go easy no no Shit. I said I hit 9 iron. When I looked at the club, it looked a bit more open for a 9. It was a pitching wedge. Crap. When that was in flight, I was like, that's all over the pin. And it lands short. Then as soon as I turned the camera off, I put it back in my bag and I looked at it and I was like, that's a pitching wedge. Definitely not a 9 iron. But I hit that pitching wedge very pure. Lucky I didn't hit nine maybe because the pin looks more at the front. Lucky, lucky I didn't go nine iron. Maybe would have flown it. So yeah, just here with the pitching wedge. I'm gonna go putter. Cozy it up, give me par. Little squirrely out to the right. See if we can get the par here. So 
bloody hell, another part there. So we're three over three, four holes. Another hole I'm not used to here at Marion. So if you watched my last video here at Marion, this is the 14th I'm on, but it's the fifth on the front nine. The tee box is usually down there and you've got a big sweeping right hander for a par four, which is drivable. Off the back nine, it is, let me see that, a, about 140 something metre par three. So yes, I've never teed off here before, so this will be fun. We'll get this club right hopefully, but it's slightly uphill so I'm going to have to take a bit more club. So I'm going to try and coast a hybrid. I've got this hybrid at the loft in my forearm, I don't hit a forearm very well, so it's a very high lofted hybrid in place of the forearm, so hopefully just get it up on the green, give me a two putt. Not the best strike with the hybrid, a bit struggling with that. So I'm just down there next to the hoses. I'll put you up here. Let's see how we go. Lucky I missed on the right side, because now I've got plenty of green to move. Four over through five holes now. Just steady. Nothing special. So yeah, I've tried introducing some lofted hybrids in to just compensate for my low trajectory of shots. So I don't hit a very high ball. So just when it gets to the longer irons, I just want to try and hit a higher ball to try and hit some greens, but yeah, swing needs some work in that aspect. With a low ball flight, when it's windy, you don't have to change your swing because it goes low anyway. So where are we at now? We're at hole 15 on the watch, which is hole 6. So in my last video, I was telling everyone, so the white house all the way there, the green's right under that. So when there's no wind, wind in your back, you have a driver that way, it's fairly open for the right to get down, but as I'm sitting on top now, the wind is directly in your face. So, we may go traditional route, down there, dog leg to the right, hit in, but we'll sum that up. Getting windy now. With the wind how it is, I should just be able to play, play it up the middle, hopefully grab a bit of the corner, give me a play. The last time I was aiming that way, this time I might go that way. Set that up, it should land about, well, the corner was about 200 to 210. So hopefully that wind's just got it, dropped it right in the corner. We should have an approach. But we're sitting on top of Marion Park here, so very windy. That last couple of holes were down in the valley over there, so not so windy. Uh, we've hit the money ball. So this has landed about 210. So it comes down there. Dog leg right, greens all the way tucked there. So here we are. Yeah, I managed to grab a piece of the green. Didn't quite chase up.
watching that three part there on the last I just had some people rushing up behind me and sort of thought I had to get through it and yeah that tea drive was no better so I stood there waiting for a bit and had people standing behind me so I just had to rush it and I was worried about hitting the people in front of me and dang it <laughs> so yeah hit into a bush I think it popped out just I'll have to punch and then have a third shot at the green so I'm five over now through six holes six overs coming up so see how we finish only a few holes left choices so we're now six over through seven holes we now have a uh, maybe like 420 430 meter par five so let's see what we can do about getting some birdies side of the green and bounce to the right. Oh, just short here. This par 15 down breeze managed to get to here on two pretty comfortably. So let's see if I can get up and down for a birdie. It'll be a tester. One hell of a par four here to finish. Big gully. Greens all the way up there. So it's about a 220 meter par four. So can't quite reach it. So I aim up the middle, let it fade off to the right, try and get amongst the sticks or a nice flat spot on the right. So I hit that online and see if we finish up. So nice birdie on that last par five winding me back so and hit a low burner and halfway down the fairway it rolls off so must have got the roll got into open space so seven iron into the green and chip it apart for a birdie so it puts me back to five over on the last hole if i can finish with a par that'll um break me six over that i was aiming for but we'll see where this finished up and then we'll see how we go uh, here we are, just right, sort of what we wanted. Just going to try and get on the green. It all slopes off around the green here, so as long as you can get it on and two putt, you're all right. That went very aggressive from that on the green, though. I think it landed like right here on the bank and just released. So we have a birdie look for the last hole. Can I get it back to four over here? Oh, 
plus five there, that's a win. The goal was six. So at the moment I'm playing off about 12 handicap GA, so five over on the front, five over the back, sounds about right. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, I think we got to the, about the seventh hole and it got a bit sketchy, and then the three putt, but other than that, like, it's pretty consistent. It's just playing the smart shots, not being silly, and taking your medicine. And always having that, always having that shot that you're comfortable with, that you can just punch and cruise up the fairway, just to give you a nice wedge. Uh, thanks for everyone uh, watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. So that was um, nine holes, back nine at Marion. Yeah, shot five over, which is a good day. So yeah, hope um, everyone gets some more videos up soon. But with the new bugs on the way, it's fine. Yeah. Okay.